Hello, welcome to Spurred On. This is Spurverts. We have gone from Team Craig to literally zero Craig. Not we have Craig. got rid of them this week only. Uh, so, Maybe. we're pretty excited, Spurverts. Depends how well this goes. Yeah. If this goes really well, there'll be no Craig. Already you're interrupting me, so I'd say bring back Craig. Um, no, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I like it. So, Spurverts, things we're excited about, why we're excited to be Spurs fans. Number one, pretty obvious, Harry Kane scored a beautiful little chip against San Marino. He's off the mark and he's got his confidence up. How do you feel about that? Well, I feel good because actually what people aren't talking about a lot is how good San Marino are these days. Amazing. I mean, like that through ball that was played through to him, they're really good. So it had to be an amazing through ball. And then the fact that the goalkeeper is actually a baker is he's actually good with his hands. He's great a really hands. great baker. So uh, it was a great finish and passed one of the best kind of yeast based goalkeepers on the planet. Exactly. One of not the best. I think one. I think the Gibraltar goalkeeper is also. He's great. Is also. A, he's amazing. A, a yeah. Baker. Lovely. A lovely. Duh. Maybe, no, it was a, it, But it was a good finish. And great finish. hopefully we'll give him the confidence. It's a very confident finish, wasn't it, for a player who supposedly down in the dumps and screwed over confidence-wise, and he's got no, supposedly think, got no chance. What do you think enabled him to have that confidence in that situation, despite him supposedly having no confidence? I think he could smell the sweet, sweet bread. Oh, that was some nice bread. And I mean money, goal bonus. That's what I think it was. Uh, speaking of goals from Spurs players outside the context of Spurs, Ardua scored for Rangers in a 5-0 uh, win against Wraith Rovers. Yeah. Man of the match. I mean. You know, I'm not one to call people up on things, but where in that little bit there does it say he scored? Doesn't, but I needed a link and I've gone with score. Did he yeah, not score? He didn't score as far as I'm aware, but he was man of the match. Man in of the match. Win. That's as good as score. But what we know about this is basically one of us will be wrong, because if he did score, then I'm wrong. But I don't yeah. think he did score, but he did get man of the match. And most importantly, I think he is just being loved on social media by the Rangers fans. They're going mad, aren't They're they? They're making cuts of little videos, the rainbow flick, uh, talking about him like he's the next big thing. And let's face it, we've had a history of sending players out on loan and doing well. I'm thinking Danny Rose, I'm thinking Carl Walker, and then bringing them home and getting in the first team. So maybe exactly. he's our next, our next him, player. Him, Yedlin, who's going to be the next one? Yep, him, probably. You think it's going to be him? Well, DeAndre, I don't know. We haven't seen DeAndre play for Sunderland yet, so we'll see. I hope he did score, but if he didn't, then I apologise for the fact that I obviously didn't watch Rangers versus Wraith Rovers. I've yeah. got things to do, and all if, right? And if he didn't score, then I also apologise for not being able to give the correct information to Reese when I wrote that on that card for you. <laughs> exactly. Uh, what about someone who definitely did score and scored three times? Who is it? Hung Min Son. That's right. Uh, the player who Reese and I have been saying on Spurverts for over six months now is such a great player, despite yeah. the fact he didn't play for Spurs before. God, how long no, have we been talking about We've been banging on him for ages. The editor keeps cutting it out. Yeah. So annoying. We're constantly banging on. We saying Hung Min Son is absolutely the future. Yeah. He's going to get a hat-trick against Lau. Is it, that it? Yeah. He's going to get a hat trick against, against Lau. Lau. <laughs> now, maybe you are sitting at home there and saying, oh, well, Lau, where are they in the FIFA rankings? But as we all know, the FIFA rankings don't mean <laughs> because Wales have just gone above England in the FIFA rankings and France are down in something like 23rd. So Lau are actually similar to the San Marino uh, team and goalkeeper. They're actually way stronger than you think. Yeah, they're great. I am half Welsh, though, so. <laughs> I've never known anyone be proud of that. No, Half not well. that there's anything wrong Above with Wales. England in the rankings, Wales, but uh, also, also um, the English. place of Ben Davis and Gareth Bale, great players. Exactly. Actually, Ben Davis did play for Wales this week, and uh, they got a win and a draw, didn't they? Yep. They so need. They, what do they, they need? need two one, more points. They need no one point one from point. two games. One of which is against Andorra at home. So if they don't make it from here, that then will be embarrassing. That will be and then I'm not half Welsh anymore. That will be tragic. Anyway, this has been Spurverts. There's some of the things we're excited about, but there's way more to come. Check out part two of Spurverts, uh, where Barnaby is going to be discussing uh, loads of stuff. I'm going to be talking about Josh and Oma, another of our great uh, young guns, and uh, a little little deal that uh, official Spurs are offering for some of you rich people out there to go all the way to the casinos of Monaco. Hmm. Check that out. Make sure you watch that. Make sure you like the video. So Subscribe to the channel and we will see you soon. We will. Hi guys, welcome to Spurverts part two. I'm Barnaby Slater. I'm here with Reese James. Hello. You should have seen part one by now, but if you didn't, do. We'll leave a little uh, speech bubble up there telling you how to watch it. But in part two today, we're going to talk about another of our young guns, Josh and Oma, 